Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucklight here, and we're continuing Illusion of Gaia here on the Sky Garden, the na uh, right above the Nazca Plains, uh, the second ruins that we have to explore for Mystic Statues. Now let's get started. Now, obviously, Sky Gardens do not exist. So, uh, don't look up. <laughs> but, uh,. This is one of the really fun dungeons. Uh, you may remember these enemies from Soul Blazer, if you watch that series. I find them a little more tolerable in this game than they were in the previous one, though. And we also have these robots who shoot their fists out. Crystal robots. You know, ruins. This is the first of four areas. Yeah, when, when they're shooting up and down, you can kind of be getting between them, so they miss you. But when they're shooting sideways, it's usually best to just get out of the way. Alright. Get rid of this guy. Yeah. How many more we got? Two? Let's see what's up here. A chest. A red jewel. So I think... I don't remember how many red jewels are in here. Let me just take a quick peek. Again, I don't find that looking up red jewels in this game is cheating because... It tells you right in the manual anyway. Uh, if you can find a PDF of the manual, you'll you'll see it. The game will tell you where all the red jewels are, so... Mainly because a lot of them are really hard to find. If you just don't know where they are. Um, yeah, so uh, th this is the trick to this area. Is that there's a underside to the garden. Like a flip section. Where all the enemies are tougher and more annoying. Especially in these red guys. The red guys, uh, they move, they shoot faster, and their hands come back so they can kind of boomerang. Uh, these worm things, you kind of want to kill them and then run for it because their uh, explosions actually hurt you. Yeah, just everything is tougher in this area when you're on the backside. Everything has more hit points, too. Alright, and uh, it's a lot more maze-like than the, uh, the top half, so I need to be careful. Here we go. And if you want to get all the power-ups, you want to, you know, hit both sides, obviously. Ah, oh, yes, the, the sword guys. Once you kill the sword, the statue becomes inert, and you can move the statue. Must have taken a beating. Alright, the first crystal ball. I really figured that this area, this uh, particular set of runes, is going to take a couple episodes to finish. Because it is a lot more, uh, a lot more to it than the uh, Incan runes. Especially if I want to get everything. Let's see what's down here. Or up here, I guess. You also want to pay close attention to your radar. So you, not only can you kill everything, but also find all the chests. And get that sweet, sweet life up. Right, 
so it's five enemies here remaining. Oh yeah, and there's also these things that are just obstacles. And I got punched. Come on, stop. That's my own fault. Alright. Oh yeah, and these peckers jump too. Dodge. Come on, jump up. So I can reach you. Or down. You can kind of see a shadow where they're going to fall, but it's really hard to see. So, your best bet is just get the hell out of the way. Don't know why that fist didn't hit me, but I'll take it. Alright, so, that clears out that area, and this whole section, good. Alright, that finishes section one. So let's exit stage left. Might as well throw the orb in. And what that'll do is, uh, once I get all four, clears a path that I can hit the main top area and fight a boss. Okay, area two. Top has 13 enemies, no chests. I immediately touch enemies. <laughs> All right, I get a little slidey effect. I always thought that was pretty cool. need to move that sucker out of the way, so I'll fight you. And pull you over here. Out of the way. Make sure there's nothing up here. And across we go. Woo! Luckily there's no way to, you know, actually die by, you know, falling to my death. I'm a bit thankful of that, <laughs> because I would've... I do those kind of things. Out of the way. Give me some free Dan. Woo. I don't think I need Psycho Dash at all in this uh, particular area, so... I think we'll be sticking this read in for probably the rest of it. Which means we're going to hit harder and have more range. Alright, what else is around here? I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Okay. There are five more enemies, but I'm going to have to drop them. To the back. And where there are 12 enemies and one chest. Meaning, the crystal ball is on this side. And here's why I need free down. Because that red guy is in an area I can't reach. Hey, it's 
cheating. Just gotta watch his eyeball there. At least he's in an area where it's really easy to hit him. Boom. Okay. Back to the top. Actually hit him. Got him. And I revealed a new path. All right, top half is done. I think there's a lot of guys over here, so... Oh yeah. And they're trying to trap me in. <laughs> Run! And nothing over here. Got a cheap laser in on me. Come on. I can get these to go past me. Come on. Maybe not. Nah, I'll just take the hits. I don't want to wait all day. I think that's why they give you the life before you, uh, can pick up the crystal. Because they're like, eh, you're going to take a few hits here, whatever. Alright, so that finishes up the second area. We're about halfway done. So let's back into the center room again and take the third one. Second area complete. Second ball. Let's heal up and save. Tackle a little bit of the third. Now the reason they want you to go uh, clockwise is so that uh, each one of these gets a little bit harder. I mean, I think you could just... Yeah, you can really just take them in any order. Take them. You can tackle them in any order. But... It's usually just best to just do them clockwise. They get more complicated. Alright, so... There's a path to the reverse there. This tiny hill I can't get up. Hmm. I might have to switch to uh to Will. Uh, let's jump down for now. There's a switch. And there's the other red jewel. Alright, 
there's nothing over here. Okay. No, don't go down there. Hmm, nothing really here. Well, I hit the switch. Let's see if it cleared up anything up here. Not really. Well, anyway, on the next episode, we will kind of figure this out. And uh, we'll see where it leads. We have a third and fourth areas to clear before we can move on. Oh, you know what? I can go this way now. Alright, so we'll do that on the next episode. So I hope you join me for that. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.